Hello everyone, welcome back to the Phone Museum. Today, we are going to look at Android apps on Ubuntu Touch. You can realize all the background and things kind of change a bit because I was playing around the uh, settings, Android settings app and I clicked some wrong one and after that, every time Nbox keep crushed to open. So I have to reset and re-download all the things. So it's kind of quite fun experience. Anyways, uh, when you install Mbox, there is a calculator, calendar, clock, content, email, files, gallery, music, settings. Apps are default in Mbox. And when I installed the Mbox, there's a, a camera app as well, but it's gone. I, I, I don't see on the uh, app screen anymore. And I download, I put in install a uh, CPU Z. I put on the APK, I'm using the ADB to install that application, but I don't see it on here. Anyways, uh, let's start with from the calculator. The calculator, it opens. And it, you can see it's a end box is actually emulating this app and it looks nice. Two times five, ten. It's a bit slow, but it's all right. You, you can see the history and those kind of stuff. Let's close it. So calculator app, no problem. A bit slow, but it still work as calculator. Calendar is same, it's just default AOSP cal uh, calendar. Nothing special. I can see in the month, like so. And probably I can add event as well. So it still work. And clock, it's gonna be no problem running. Of course, it's just simple app, but for example, timer, I put in five seconds. It doesn't vibrate or give a sound. I think this emulator having some trouble uh, controlling some hard hardware. I cannot, well, I guess I cannot go to a setting neither. Same as alarm, the alarm is, it doesn't give a sound or feedback, so it's not really alarm. Contact is just basic contact, but it's separate from the uh, Ubuntu touch one, so there's no, I don't see anything. Email, same AOSP basic email. And Android is one I downloaded. This is kind of open source app store kind of stuff. So you can download some apps made in open source. So you cannot expect download some YouTube app or Facebook app, those kind of stuff. It's just uh, some uh, open source apps. Files, just regular files, but Android, the emulator cannot I think cannot go to the uh, storage in Ubuntu Touch, so the Fire app is crushed, and Gallery, the same reason, cannot access to the storage, so cannot uh, open the Gallery app. GPS test, interest, um, so <sighs> this kind <of> unexpected. <laughs> when I tested the GPS, this app opened. All right, you didn't crush it before, but interesting. Then let's move to Kakaoto. It's basic messenger app. Oh, hmm. So this one I can is like kind of half and half. Half time I uh, successful to open this app. Other half I failed to open like this. When I able to open this app, then I can sign in my account and this app I have to uh, put on my phone number to get a verifying number 
when I typed up my verifying number, then it just crashed after that. So basically cannot use music app, same as a, a gallery or file app. It cannot open because it cannot access the storage. For the Samsung internet, take a time to load and oh, so it's open. So it looks like it worked all right. Let's go to google.com. Then this keyboard is going to be an Android AOSP keyboard, just default keyboard. But it's in emulating the program and this phone, oh, Snapdragon 800, it was really bad CPU at the time in 2013, but now is slower than a regular low-end $200 smartphone these days. So is having hard time google.com it's kind of able to do some web search but even going simple google.com take this long so it's possible but not daily day to use this browser let's kill it vrc this one because nexus 5 does not support Ubuntu Touch on Nexus 5 does not support hardware or video playback. That's why I download VRC, but this one, same. Cannot access to the storage, so it's keep crushed. Oh, before go to setting, uh, stage bright detector. It, nowadays, uh, Android is totally fine, but let's, just for fun, let's test. There's any issue. Of course, there's no issues. That's good. And let's go back to setting. In the wireless and network, there's nothing I can control in the, this setting. Just airplane mode, VPN, and network set, setting reset. The one thing about I talked in the Ubuntu Touch review, one bad thing about this with the gesture, there's no going back gesture. So in Android app like this, if I want to go back, then there's no way to go back. There's no gesture for it. Thankfully for the setting in this one, Android 7.1.1 NuGet, there's a little shortcut for the go to different settings. So thankfully I don't have to close the app and op reopen every single time when I go to different subtitle. That's a good thing. In the display for brightness level, there's a controller, but I cannot control it. Let's go back. Wallpaper, hopefully not crush. When I go to gallery, it's definitely gonna crush, but same time, I cannot go back. So let's try uh, live wallpaper if they have. No, there's no, okay, no going back. So I have to kill it and reopen the setting. Hopefully it works. And I can set sleep, even though this little uh, window is kind of not in layout properly screen saver and phone size is is it possible to change reopen and then it's changed that's good display size is also same when i make it bigger reopen it and it changed let's go to regular it's too big for me and cast notification I don't know, you can send a notification to me. You can see there's CPU zip, but I cannot open it. And I tried to test for notification, that's why I download KakaoTalk, but it doesn't open, so let's go to sound. There's a media controller, but you, you cannot hear anything because it cannot access to the speaker or Oh, vibration motor. So even I try to pick the ringtone, I cannot hear it. No sound for uh, Android. So sound is kind of meaningless. Let's go to apps. And just basic apps. You can see all the apps I downloaded, but some of them don't show. 
when I click this one, I cannot see the battery or memory information because it's more like Ubuntu system relate, I think. So then let's go to storage. In storage, it's a uh, about 5.5 gigabyte using. And let's check that's all right or not. Go to Ubuntu setting and storage. I have a 9.9 .9 gigabyte can usable. So mm, it's roughly right, I guess. For battery. Okay, so right now I can see the grab is not uh, something weird. And there's a battery savers. I'm not gonna do it because when I using when I turn the battery savers on Nexus 5 in stock Android, it was really slow, so I don't wanna get the risk about it. So I had full antenna for the cellular network, but it's a bad cellular network, so obviously you cannot use any cellular uh, data for the Android application, I guess. And of course, the better usage data is not available. Memory, surprisingly, I can see the all the memory, how much memory it used. And by, by the application as well, it's quite surprised. I thought I cannot able to see memories. And location, I can turn the location, it device only and up to uh, all the way up to high accuracy, but it's kind of pointless because it cannot get some um, cellular network information, so there's no reason. And I'm not sure this GPS is work or not because I don't think GPS doesn't work. Screen lock, it you can put on the screen lock, but it's pointless because even I put on the screen lock, I just bypass things so that's a really point is and all and yeah just basic stuff nothing too fancy account I think I can add account in here and language and input I can change the language the one thing I found out is if I change a different language then I have to reboot the system. If not, the Android app is keep crushing until I reboot. Because I tried for five days without reboot. Every day I tried to enter the setting. I cannot able to make it. And back up and reset. Oh, it just crashed, I guess. So it doesn't work. And date and time. Obviously, it's not working properly because I'm not in in United Kingdoms. So. That's not, that's wrong time zone. And accessibility. This one I got, had really got trouble because I click a color inversion. And after that, the app is open. Android app is keep opening. It's not crushing, it's open, but it's just all black. So, so I, there's no way to fix that problem. That That's why I reset and reinstall the end box so i i like to do one by one so which one is work which one is not work to tell you but uh, i think that's kind of pointless to do it and there's a developer option it just crashed and about emulate device in here you can see the status of course there's nothing about it and legal information Model is Mbox, Android version is 7.1.1. Uh, skirt patchy is January 5th of 2017, and build number and kernel version as well. And I can tap to go to Easter egg, the, but the problem is after that, there's no little uh, kitty comes out. So to go back, I have to close the app. Yeah, so that's it for the little Android application on Ubuntu Touch. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.